Yeah. Like, just how did it feel to be actually back racing? Actually, just to be back doing what it is that I have a passion for, just in my heart that navigates me through day to day was a blessing. Just to be back on the track, um, not coming in with expectations, but of course wanting to do what it is that I'm well known to do, and that's be a performer. But God has a plan for everything. And I'm a warrior, and I would like to say, um, after the race, I was in the heat of passion, <laughs> and um, I apologize for my language, but I'm a warrior. My passion will always come out for, for my love, for, for what it is that I put my blood, sweat, tears, and sacrifice into. This last month was a journey for me, <laughs> and, but that's no excuse, because at the end of the day, I'm an athlete, and today was the day. But it's not every day. It's not the end of the world. Uh, everybody and like I say, got behind Shakari, and now she is on her way back. She is going to uh, race at the Prefontaine Classic at the Tokyo Olympics. And, of course, she's going to be taking on a lot of those competitors that won medals uh, at the Olympic Games, too. So everybody's looking forward to that return uh, to the track for Miss Shakari Richardson. Yeah, and she's going to be going up against some of those Olympic medalists like that, you know, team from Jamaica that was in the 100 meter dash. She's going to have to face some of them. So it'll be interesting to see what happens in this race because that could have, that could tell us what should happen at the Olympics if she was racing. She would have been Gotten to the break, thankfully. Okay, this is the young lady of the moment, the phenomenal freshman from LSU, Shakari Richardson. It took 24 hours for this freshman to realize her accomplishments in the SEC Outdoor Championships a month ago. When it happened, I was like, I really did this. Like, I went to bed the, and the next morning I looked and saw all the tweets. I was like, oh, I really did this. I, I did that. And it just felt like an amazing accomplishment because coming into my freshman year, I kept hearing, oh, freshmen can't do this, freshmen can't do that. And I'm always one that likes to beat the odds. So when I was able to do that, I felt like it was just a blessing from God, of course. And then that's a pat on my back knowing that my hard work, like, helped me achieve that. So. coordinator Harold Jones and we would like to begin by saying to uh, Shakir thank you thank you for your athletic performance over the four years here at Carter High School and what you uh, brought to uh, the recognition of the community and the school and so uh, again thank you for your accomplishment in lane five so a reminder Fraser Price in four Richardson in five Thompson here at When it's one of the Come on, Jamaica. Yes, please. This time, the top of the air into our running four from them. Long hold, a great start for Kayla White, not such a great one for Shakari Richards and Linnea Taiva Tom David Thomas of USC trying to get in there as well. Now very close, Shakari Richardson pulls it off, doesn't even lean at the tape. You see Kayla White get out completely. You have those big arm splits right at the beginning, and those first three steps of big push are huge in that drive phase. However, Richardson's top end speed is absolutely lethal. The one thing she doesn't do is panic. As a freshman, that is so impressive. And look, she just runs straight through. She.
navigates me through day to day was a blessing just to be back on the track um not coming in with expectations but of course wanting to do what it is that i'm well known to do and that's be a performer but god has a plan for everything and i'm a warrior and i would like to say um after the race i was in the heat of passion <laughs> and um i apologize for my language but i'm a warrior my passion will always come out for for my love for for what it is that i put my blood sweat tears and sacrifice into this last month was a journey for me <laughs> and but that's no excuse because at the end of the day i'm an athlete and today was the day but it's not every day it's not the end of the world and like i say if you choose to